this comment says, agree. So many false pretending. They've seen this or that or heard this or that when they haven't heard, but for likes on TikToks. They will say anything because some people believe anything. Um, let me tell you this. On MySpace, that's where I started out at in 2007. And I was not calling myself a prophet at that time because... I had no reason to at that time. I was just on there telling people, that, you know, what Jesus had told me and just giving my testimony about what was going on. But at the time, I did not know that I was a prophet. I was just telling people what I was seeing. Um, and then another lady came on there on my space. And, you know, I believe at that time she was just trying to be sarcastic. But she told me, she said, I'm a prophet, too. And at that time, I, you know, in my ministry, very young in my ministry, I said, oh, really? I mean, I just, you know, I believed her when she said she was. That night when I went to bed, God sent me a dream of a wolf. And so there was him telling me that she's lying about being a prophet. Now, with all the stuff going on with Celestial, saying that, you know, I don't know if she's actually saying it, but she's implying that she's a prophet by saying she's having visions and God is speaking to her. And, you know, thus saith the Lord, which is very you know, very important, those words, thus saith the Lord, because you can't say that if it's not real. You should not be saying it if it's not real because God will punish you. And so on YouTube, I've been getting a whole lot of people who follow her. They've been, you know, leaving me messages and comments and, you know, taking her side and basically, you know, taking up for her and saying that she is a prophet and all that stuff. So I just want to, you know, there's, there's a lot of comments, but I do want to go over three different comments that um, they left. And the first one is, how do you know that God didn't speak to her? The reason I know that God didn't speak to her because I have the Holy Spirit upon me and the Holy Spirit has revealed to me that celestial is not a prophet. God does not know her. And so it's very dangerous for her to I go out there pretending just to get money and saying that she's a prophet, knowing that we are in the last days. She knows herself that we're in the last days for her to be doing that. It's not worth going to hell to get the love and attention and respect from people. You get more respect when you tell the truth. And it's OK for you to be an evangelist without being a prophetess. This. And then I want to let you all know that I'm not going to spend too much time on talk about no celestial, sweetie, because there's too many false prophets in the world to be sitting around talking about one. And so we're not going to give her that kind of attention. But for in this video, we're going to go ahead and do it for now um, because we need to put it to bed. Now, the next question is a real prophetess doesn't reveal that she is a prophet. And that's what somebody else said. And, you know, I believe, you know, that is true for some but for me it's important that you understand that it's real because y'all act slow and somebody got to tell y'all because you act like you don't know i'm just gonna you know put it out there like that um and the reason why some false prophets won't say that they are real prophetess because they can't they can't say it because they not you know so just understand that if somebody know that they not they're not going to put it out there because they don't want you to dig more into it Y'all are the one calling these people, these people prophetess. They probably not call themselves that. They let y'all do it and take a form and, and do all the things. And they can just sit back and chill out and, and not do anything. So y'all the fools. The next question they had. Well, the next thing that somebody said that I wanted to talk about. They say a house divided against itself will fall. And y'all been following me for a while. You know how I feel about a house being divided against itself will fall. I feel like this, if, you know, with the church being divided the way it is, I say let it fall and build that mug back up the way it's supposed to be because I'm not going to be in no fake shit. Now, somebody going around saying they something that they not, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to be all up in no house and caring about no division. If it's divided, it's divided. That means I'm not going to just go along with what you are saying just because a whole lot of people are coming at me because I stand for the kingdom of God, unlike most of you. Okay, any more questions, holler at me.